Hello, my name is ZZ, and in this video I will show you the flows H and core hack for the PlayStation Vita firmware 3.65, 3.67 and 3.68. But first we'll have to download a few things, such as H and core itself and a few other necessary programs and files. Keep in mind your device must be running version 3.65, 3.67 or 3.68 to use this. Additionally, you need a PlayStation network account associated on your device. It doesn't have to be activated, it just needs to exist on the version, uh, on the device. Okay, things we need. We need QCMA, I already have this installed. We need PSV image tools and uh, package to zip. So I'm gonna go and download PSV image tools. I'm using Windows 64 bit, so I'm downloading this one. Additionally, I'm doing the same with package to zip, 64 bit version. And we need a demo file which is called Bitter Smile. I already downloaded this one, it's here. I'm going to rename it to just demo. Additionally, we also need H Core itself, obviously. And that should be everything we need for now. Otherwise, we need, well, of course, our PlayStation Vita and a connection to this computer. Let's put everything into one folder. Time to extract everything. Agent Core. Package to zip. You see image tools. And so on and so on. Okay, first step extract the demo using package to zip dash x path of pet. Okay, I will keep shift pressed and then right click in this folder and then I can uh, open the comment prompt in this folder. This saves me the step of uh, redirecting the directory in the comment prompt to this very folder. So there we go. Package to zip dash x and then demo dot package. Now we get this, this nice app folder. And then we can continue. Copy the content. Da, 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 da. This, this. We copy this into Agent Core app. This one. There we go. This should be it. There we go. Copy the file from this, 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 this. Temp bin. To core license this name it to this one. Okay, there we go. Um, then we should start QCMA. If you don't have QCMA, just download it and install it. It's basically the best comment. Uh, uh, content manager application for the PlayStation Vita since it can be used with the lower version as well and does not require the most recent version. Also doesn't require a working internet connection. If you've ever used QCMA in the past you can basically skip this step. I'm just going to show what you have to do if you did not. Okay, Basically you just connect your PlayStation Vita then it's going to create a few folders at a direction that should be specified in oops, in here settings and then it shows you the path where it is specified for me this would be documents ps vita then any of those folders application for me it's this id here because in here they're all my vita games and vita shell etc okay then we have to go to this very website Put in the ID we just copied, send, and now we get this key. <clears throat> Text file, key, save, there we go. <clears throat> okay, we did this. all these files into this folder and next we open the comment prompt again cmd image dash create 
dash n app dash k then I copy my key oh wait if they copy it again copy my key app pcsg 90096 slash app okay we have to do this four times we have to do it for app app meta license and safe data if you press the up arrow and the cmd you get the same command you just put into the cmd as well if you then use the arrow keys you can easily edit this command and update it for the other three ones so you don't have to manually put in everything four times <clears throat> Just be sure that you update all three values. We have one value between dash n and dash k. License. We have one value between our key and the folder location at the end. License. And at the very end we have this one as well. License. 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 There we go. And now for the fourth one, we're just save data. Save data. Save data, save data, there we go, there should be it, now the folder uh, duh, 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 should contain, this is this, well, for another one, for enough. yep, and now it contains this one, this one was the two PSV files. This one and this one. Should be everything correct. Um, now we copy to the folder where our CMA files are located it from its documents, PS Vita, app, then my account ID, and then I copy it into this one. Now we should have this PCSG9096 folder. And that should be it basically. Then we refresh the database with QCMA. And then we should be ready to copy to our PlayStation Vita. Um, if QCMA did not create such a folder at yours, yours will definitely have a different ID here. This is a unique ID. Yours will definitely be different. Um, if your QCMA did not create this one, then be sure to re-read step 8 and do it again. I think I skipped the small detail the, that we actually have to open the content manager but if you ever copied anything from your computer to your Vita you should already have such a folder here only if you have never ever done this then you will have to uh, closely follow this step here okay we did this we did this we did this next step is on the PlayStation Vita and on the Vita we will just have to connect to our computer copy the files start the bubble and then we should be ready to go okay in the next step we have to have our PlayStation Vita and be sure that you're running one of the compatible firmware versions in my case this is version 3.65 as you can see and it's running the normal unmodified version 3.65 next we have to connect our PlayStation Vita via the content manager to our computer keep in mind if you PlayStation Vita is asking for an update, you should disable Wi-Fi, should disable 3G if your PlayStation Vita has this, mine doesn't, then reboot the device and then you should try it again, because it will not forget that it found an update unless you reboot it again with disabled internet connections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my Vita to my computer. Now this looks super silly, but whatever. And use my content manager and copy content. Let's see if I can change this somehow so it looks less silly. Okay, this should be fine. Then we go to PC to Vita and we go to applications. Then we go to PlayStation Vita. And then we scroll down to basically the very bottom. We will have to find the bubble that's called HN Core. That's the one we just created. 
the one we just prepared and the one we just copied to our CMA folder. So we can now copy it onto our PlayStation Vita itself. This might take a while. It's not that big, but it's also not that, not that small, and copying files from the computer to the Vita takes a while. This number is obviously not correct, but whatever. It should take about two minutes to copy this, depending on your um, memory card size, and if you're using an original official PlayStation Vita memory card, or if you're using one of the hardware mods to enable the usage of an SD card or whatever. Doesn't matter. We'll just have to wait until this is finished. And when this is finished, we should be able to easily copy, no, not copy, <laughs> to use the Agent Core bubble to install Hankaku and optionally also install Vita Shell. If you get an error message while copying Agent Core to your PlayStation Vita, you most likely have made a small mistake in the CMD um, task, because if the files are not properly encrypted, the PlayStation Vita will not allow to copy them, or it will refuse to start the application. Depends on which step you did not do properly. If you did everything properly, it should look like this. You have this Agent Core bubble, can click on it, you should be able to launch it as well. You click just yes, doesn't matter about the trophy stuff. And then the screen should flash white, purple, then it should automatically open this window. The Edge and Core Bootstrap menu. So the first thing we have to do or should do is install Hankaku. I'm gonna do this, it's installing it, successful that we don't if I now exit it, we should now be able to launch uh, unsigned software. As you can see, I have my Hankaku settings here now, I have spoofed version, etc, etc, etc. Keep in mind, if you use this, you should change the spoofed version to 3.65, because otherwise you might have a problem with the memory card. Because if you change the spoofed version to 3.67, the uh, config file on the memory card that um, restricts the usage of a memory card that had been used on a higher version or a different PlayStation Network account, will tell you that you have to either update your device or format the memory card, which is really annoying. So you just keep the spoofed version on 365. If you use um, if you use um, Agent Core and Hankaku on version 365, or you simply install the Anso permanent hack, which only works up to version 3.65. If you're in 367, it should just be recommended to update to 368. And if you're in 3.6.8, you can just change the spoofed version to 3.6.8 as well. So basically change the spoofed version to your current version. Otherwise you may have problems with the memory card. 
If you do have problems with the memory card, you can just click unlink memory card and then it should delete that specific config file that restricts the usage of the memory card on, well, lower versions because the memory card thinks it was used on a higher version. But as you can see, it's running perfectly. We now have Hankaku installed. Everything is fine. And that's basically it. That's how you install or use the HN Core hack on the PlayStation Vita. It works on 365, 367 and 368. If you're in 365, it should be recommended that you install the Enso permanent hack afterwards, because then you will not have to click on the Agent Core bubble on every reboot. If you do not install Hankaku Enso, you will have to click on the Agent Core bubble to reactivate it after every reboot. This only works on 365, by the way. If you're in 367 or 368, well, in the first place, I think you should just update to 368 in the first place. And if you're then on 368, you cannot use the permanent hack, but you can still use this one, the one I just showcased. It's just temporary, but it's better than nothing. So yeah, I think that's it. I'm the Dad, and see you soon.